it smells like glue vine. See, that's when I get Anburel in me, where I'm like, oh, like smell it. Mm. I put a peel of like an orange, but you have to make sure you don't get too much, too much of the pith. It's okay if there's a little bit, but if you get too much, <laughs> it makes it bitter. Good enough. And then the peel of a lemon. And this is really easy because this one's like super firm, so the peel just comes right off. Ta -da. So that goes in a pot. It's really important that you don't heat the wine up too fast because if you heat the wine up too fast, it'll make the, it ruins the flavor. You still want to keep the flavor of the wine and you still want to keep the alcohol. Although I've heard that cooking wine really only cooks off like 20%, even though it says, like people say, oh, the wine cooks off, but I've heard that it's, that's not really true. Hmm. It's only like a, a fraction and it's still alcoholic. Okay, this is a chai spice. This is like my shortcut. It's a chai spice um, tea, but it doesn't have any actual like tea leaves in it. It's just cinnamon, cloves, ginger, and cardamom and I'm gonna put it in a tea ball so that everything stays in the tea ball and it doesn't, we don't have to like pick it out of our, out of our glue vine. Mm. You wanna smell it? Do you wanna <laughs> smell it? Okay. And then I'm gonna add a little extra cardamom because I love it. These are green cardamom pods. Actually, I could probably add them of there but you have to smash them there we go. see there's little seeds inside you can actually take those out and grind them up and put them in things and it's yummy and they taste kind of well you know what cardamom tastes like minty and peppery i'm just gonna throw them in there now let's put the wine in i have a bottle of weisser burgunder it's hard to say it's um Pinot, Pinot Grigio, or white burgundy. And then sugar, like a quarter of a cup. Not too much, you don't want it too sweet. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of the lemon juice and the orange juice, but I want to strain it, because I, I don't want it pulp. I like, um, I like it to be nice and, and clear and not too pulpy. Some people would just throw the lemon, like the whole lemon and orange in there, but I, th I, it all, I always have problems with it getting too bitter. You know how the pulp is so bitter when you cook? Okay. Then we can stir it and taste it a little just for the sugar. And then we'll let it we'll let it come up to boil really slowly. Not, not even boil, not even simmer really. Just like hot enough to steep the tea. And then it'll be done. Well, right now it doesn't really taste like much. And then sometimes when you go to the Christmas market, they'll put like a shot in your glue vine. So you can get like a shot of um, amaretto or something in your glue vine or a shot of like Grand Marnier or a shot of, I think those are the only two I can think of, but you can put like brandy for instance. And it's good. It makes it extra sweet and extra boozy. It goes straight to your head. I'll show you my special glue vine glasses. They say Freiburg Christmas Market on them. <laughs> when you get glue vine at the Christmas market, you have to pay a two euro and 50 cent deposit on your cup. And then you can either take it home or you can turn it in and get your money back. It's really fun like when you're done looking at everything and you've eaten a hundred sausages and like looked at all the 
Christmas ornaments and stuff for sale. Then you get one last glue vine and then you walk home with your glue vine. And it's cozy and warm. Oh, it already smells good. Oh, it already smells like glue vine. See, that's when I get Anne Burrell in me, where I'm like, oh, like <laughs> smell it. Brown, brown, brown. Oh. Yellow food tastes good. <laughs> What did she say? When I say smash this guy, get in there and do it. Yeah! And you can actually put it in like sparkling wine, like a little bit and make like a sparkling wine, glue vine cocktail if it's cold. And it tastes really, really good.